who is following me? Because they've been behind me for a minute. back with another video okay i know y'all haven't seen me in a couple days y'all it's literally seven o'clock a.m i broke day have not slept yet but it's okay am i tired of course i'm tired but you know what i haven't been to the gym since i went to miami and i was three weeks ago so i've been slacking i got on my little um what is this called a sweatband not a waist trainer y'all this is a sweatband and i like this angle because it's making me like real thick real thick okay y'all know i got a nissan y'all know what they say about the girls with the nissans y'all but anyways yeah waist trainers are bad for you y'all do not get a waist trainer like they crush your bones sweat bands help you sweat in your stomach that's how you lose your stomach by sweating not trying to tighten it so my girls is wearing waistbands stop it but yeah so it's 7 a.m about to go to the gym and i feel i'm starting to feel real productive you know when you start your day right it just ends right you know and lately my day's been ending like shit like i really been slacking y'all like i really been slacking but i got so much stuff that i'm about to do and i'm so happy for myself because i feel like everything's finally falling into place and stuff like that and i feel like i just all my hard work is paying off because i work so hard y'all like i really do work so hard like i really be slaving like not even slaving but i'm really just like in grime mode for real and i feel like it's just all paying off and stuff like that but yeah very much skin i'm gonna tell y'all the story time while i'm on my way to the gym because earlier today well technically yesterday but today earlier this girl had me fucked up y'all this girl really had me fucked oh excuse me this girl really had me fucked up y'all and i don't even like cursing on youtube so excuse my language but she had me messed up y'all and i'm gonna tell y'all why and it was over a vape a vape the ones i smoke a vape y'all but i'm gonna just tell y'all that while i'm driving but yeah make sure you guys are following me on instagram and all of that everything is literally jayla monet my tiktok jayla monet and all of that good stuff dm me any video ideas y'all talk to me and stuff i do respond back to my dms i'm not bougie i'm bougie but i'm not bougie you feel me if y'all know what i mean the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't but yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe share send your post notifications so you guys be like every time your girl posts a new video and that's on um, period i'm not gonna make the intro too too long but i'm gonna just talk to you guys while i'm driving there and then y'all gonna come to the gym with me and all of that good stuff so yesterday i literally i went to willy p y'all if y'all don't know what willy p is it's the college that i used to go to but my friends still go there so you know i be going there i got a visit from my face because miss queen willy p herself period now i'm playing fuck that school but anyways so i went over there cool 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 i'm gonna fast forward to like the important part so this um one of my friend's friend's friend ends up coming into the room right she was cool i guess but she was just she was giving me she was giving me very much the girls who want attention and stuff and want to just act like they're just so fake drunk so she was one of them girls but i still wasn't bare ass no mind so she brought these like drunk car games to the room right this is the first red flag so she brought these drunk car games into the room right and basically one of the when i had opened the box so one of the cards was bent so i just left that bent card in there this girl's gonna accuse me of bending her card i'm like um it was bent she's like you don't gotta lie to me like you right i don't have to lie to you so it was bent girl like what the hell like so basically, so basically she's trying to accuse me of bending her card so i'm just like okay this girl weird so just keep in mind she's the only one in this room who's really drunk like and not even drunk but sloppy drunk yeah if you want to drink handle your liquor especially you in college around people you don't even know for real handle your liquor like this was my first time meeting her very bad impression so she ends up losing her vape yeah if y'all don't know what a vape is it's the stuff i be smoking it's these right so she ends up losing her vape so we're just helping her look for it and nobody sees it or anything like that so boom whatever so cool so she's literally going crazy over her vape but we all like girl like we don't see your vape like but she's drunk so she, and she's the only one moving around and shit like that so it's just like girl just sit the hell down so whatever fast forward it's like 4 a.m i end up going home or whatever why i look in my bag why is this girl vape in my bag so i sent a picture to my friend i'm like i'm gonna put the text message here i'm like not this girl vape in my bag so she, she was just like what the hell like how did it get in your bag like we both we were both confused like i don't know if someone put it in there on accident she just threw it somewhere being drunk i don't know you don't know what drunk people y'all and i was the only sober one so i know what the fuck was going on and i don't need to steal nobody vape i have my own i was smoking this shit the whole night i have my own vape girl and that's some broke shit i don't need to steal babe not me 
so whatever so fast forward fast forward fast forward so the girl ends up busting we're gonna call her ann because i don't want to keep saying the girl so yeah i don't want y'all to get confused so ann goes to my friend's room this morning bust and she told me this so she was just like yeah like just screaming and stuff acting like she don't got no damn sense like where's my babe and i left it in here whatever and they told her like oh i texted her saying it's in my bag or whatever so they called me and told me that um they told her i'm like okay like y'all can get from my number like she can come pick it up for me like i don't mind that like she can come pick it up cool so they give the girl my number right the girl texts me like oh what room you in oh i'm like babe i don't dorm <laughs> like i'm not even in school honey so she was just like i'm cute but i'm being mad nice like because it's your vape like i'm not gonna hold your shit hostage you could come get it girl i'm just not driving all the way up there that shit 30 minutes for me and gas is expensive gas is expensive okay so she gonna be like she gonna have nerves to be like well it's just the principal how did it end up in your bag now i start coming crazy because who was you talking to it's always y'all know that text i would rock like these bitches not talking to me like whatever the fuck she said but y'all know the text like i'm talking about so i'm just like girl like nobody needed to steal your vape i said you could come get it she's like no you could bring it i'm like yeah you lost your mind what i'm telling y'all is exactly what i said i'm like yeah you lost your mind i'm not for a vape girl it's giving very much fiend go buy a new one she's like it's a principle it's my money either that or you run me my bread once again you lost your mind who the fuck are you talking to so why well, sound like i'm from new york what the hell but i'm just like girl who are you talking to like you lost your mind like i'm not even paying this girl no mind like i'm not about to argue with you about a fucking vape go buy a new one like what the hell that's really some like fiend broke shit so i'm just like girl either you gonna come get it or not and then she's still trying to go back and forth i'm like are you gonna come get it like girl like what the hell now at this point she's still coming crazy so now you're not getting shit so literally just stop answering her and stuff like that because once again who are you talking to like be for real be fucking for real like never in my life like had i had to argue with somebody over a vape that you think i stole girl i don't need to steal your vape like life was never that serious for me to go around stealing vapes uh -huh. life was never that serious Damn, that was a wide ass turn. But yeah, I know that was a quick story time, y'all. But it's just like, what? It's the fact I'm not even in school no more and dealing with unnecessary ass drama. And she gave me very much. She just wanted to start a problem with me because I feel like, not no cocky shit, but girls really be hating on me. Like, not even, I'm not even talking about look wise and shit. Like, literally just my energy, like my aura and stuff like that. Girls will really hate you for that. That people just fucking love you. But yeah, like, y'all yeah, never in my life. Like, literally, y'all know that TikTok with Krishan Rock be fucking for real? That's really what it was given. Like, I look just as dumb as you sitting here arguing with you about a vape, y'all. And she was already giving me, like, she really, like, I don't want to call her broke, but, like, penny pinching. Because she asked about my last appointment. She's like, oh, like, do you need a deposit, like, to book an appointment? I don't, I'm like, um, yeah, girl, but for you, like, you could just DM me. Because she seemed cool then. Turns out this girl was not cool, y'all. This girl was not cool. But she was like, yeah, because like, I don't want to do a deposit. What if I just bring all the money there? Yeah. Yeah. No. So, yeah, guys. That was really it. Like, and I was just over it. That shit was just so weird to me. Like, I never in my life. Never in my life, y'all. And I took the wrong streets. Uh, and who is following me? They've been behind me for a minute. They're not going to the gym too. Okay, they turned y'all. Cause I, I don't got time. It's a lot of sex trafficking and stuff going on. And these people are not gonna play with me. But yeah, a little life update, y'all. I've been real like in a funk lately. Like I've been feeling mad. Like oh, like I don't know. Like unproductive, but not necessarily because I'm always doing shit. Like if I'm not doing something with my lash business, I'm doing something on YouTube. If, if I'm not doing something with YouTube and a lash business, I'm posting reels, contents on IG and stuff like that or tiktok so it's like i'm literally i don't know maybe i just need a break not really a break but just to relax because i feel like i'm working on so much stuff at once sometimes it does get overwhelming not gonna lie it definitely does get overwhelming but i love what i do like i love what i do i love being a lash artist on my own business and i love being a complicator because i really like talking to you guys and stuff like that and like y'all really like my friends for real like y'all are really my friends like i love when y'all dm me and stuff saying how i'm so motivational and stuff because i don't know like i don't know if it's bad to say but i don't really like look at myself like oh i'm so motivational but hearing people say it, it's like damn like whenever i feel down like that shit just really lifts me up but yeah yeah i'm almost here i want to play some music and shit and then yeah y'all could just listen to me 
too much because you ain't been told enough, baby. Listen, you got better when you met me and I ain't coincidental because I'm not the one that's meant for you. But it is. Oh, it's not the one that's meant for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on this head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who know those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew up about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. But honestly, that sounds like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one, and I'm still here outside. Busybody, baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it Yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it Yeah, mama used to be on disability But gave me this ability And now she walking with her head high and her back straight I don't think you're feeling me, I'm out here Being everything they said I wouldn't be, it couldn't be I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be I said, see you all right, guys, I just finished. I really want food, but I don't think pliable is over right now. If fuck around, it might be, but I don't know. So I think I'm going to just get it before I go to the shop right now. I'm going to go back home, and I'm going to shower and either take a quick nap before my client. I have a client at 3 o'clock, but I only got one client today. Thank God. I mean, I can film another video, and I got time to edit this and upload it tomorrow. But I'm going to just be taking you guys along the day with me and stuff like that. I got to clean up the shop and really deep clean, sanitize, everything like that. I ordered some more lash supplies on Amazon. I got me a glue shaker. I needed one of those. And I got some more aftercare brushes to wash your lashes with. I got to make some more aftercates. I sold out. And what else did I order? I ordered a mattress topper for the lash bed. Because I, I tested out. Like, I lay on it before my clients to see if the cover is right and stuff. See how it feels. Because I don't want them to be uncomfortable. Especially, especially if they're laying there for two hours but some of them complain some say it's comfortable so i'm gonna just get the mattress topper just in case so it's extra 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 comfortable because you know best service over here period but yeah i feel like oh i wanted to work out a little bit more but i feel like because especially like yeah i feel like these past two days i have not eaten nothing like i had mcdonald's literally because I don't be cooking like that, y'all. I could admit it. I'm not about to lie. I'll be chefing it up, y'all. I really, real life, don't be cooking like that. I feel like I will cook more when I got, like, I feel like I will cook more when I got my own place. Like, I'll cook basic shit at my house, like spaghetti and shit like that. But I want to really, like, get into cooking more when I do get my own place. But, yeah, little update. I go next week to actually, y'all going to see. I ain't even going to say nothing. I ain't even going to say nothing. Because, you know, the evil eye, that shit is real. Some people really be blocking your blessings. So, Y'all just gonna have to stay tuned for the next vlog to see what I was just about to say. But yeah, somebody's car alarm is going off and I don't know. Oh, it's a girl right in front of me. What the hell? But she's in her car and that's the thing. I think her car is just messed up or something. It's okay, girl. Me too. Join the club. But yeah, I definitely gotta clean up my car this week though. Maybe I'll do that shit today actually. I don't wanna keep pushing it off. I gotta clean up my car. What else do I gotta do? I gotta get a new phone case. If y'all didn't last, if y'all didn't watch my last Miami story time, go watch that. Y'all would know why I need a new phone case. Hold on, someone's calling me. So the next time you guys see me, I'm gonna probably be getting some food. I'm most likely getting playa. Cause I have playa in a minute and y'all know I love playa. If y'all an original, y'all know I love playa. I literally feel dead. Like I feel so like I don't know. But I'm gonna hit you guys in a little bit. 
all right guys so i literally overslept so i did not have time to get food so i woke up and literally had to go straight to the shop but it's okay i ended up eating after but right now as you see i'm just giving her a lash bath y'all i promise you start washing every client's lashes before the service instead of priming literally just thank me later i promise you your retention is going to be so much better like i'm talking about three plus weeks and that's on period and I also forgot to tell you guys earlier, I did make a Patreon account. So that's how I'll be posting all my exclusive lash videos, tips, tricks, ebooks, lash with me, and all of that. It's literally only $5. You can cancel anytime. But yes, if you guys want to talk to me, ask me questions, because a lot of you guys do DM me, ask me about, you know, different stuff lash wise. And I do answer. But I decided to do stuff for more exclusive content, lash mapping, taping methods, retention, and all of that. It's going to be on Patreon. So make sure you guys subscribe to me on there. So right now I'm at the point to where I'm almost done with the set. So I'm just going to use my mirror to check for any stickies before I go back in to see any spot that I miss, any spot that needs another lash, and just basically go over my work. And if you don't have a mirror like this, I definitely 100% recommend getting one. It definitely saves me time because before I had it, I used to literally get up to look at the set and it just was a lot of work. If you were wondering where I got my mirror from, it was from Amazon. I literally get all my lash supplies, such as stuff for my bed, organization, and stuff like that from Amazon. Only thing I don't get from Amazon is glue, tweezers, and my lash trays. Especially because for good retention, you definitely want good quality lashes. And I'm not a fan of Amazon lashes. When I first started doing lashes, that's what I started out with. But as I got more experience, I've been lashing for two years. So as I got more experience, I realized the better the quality, the better the retention. So yeah, I get trays from vendors and stuff like that so if you are interested in all the brands i use as far as tweezers lashes glue definitely make sure you are subscribed to my patreon like i said earlier in the video all my information for that will be in the description down below